producer, writer, I do stuff for film, television. Pretty much I got it all in a bubble. I do, uh, I do uh, some video work as well. We got a blog right now running Trippy Travels, Trippy Travel 9. It's going to be the CMW edition. So pretty much uh, got it all in a pot, all the ingredients, you know what I mean. We got everything covered. Man, honestly, tonight I'm looking forward to seeing uh, Weirdo Click. Uh, Dope ass dude from my city, uh, Kale Guevara's here, Quake Matthews, Alfie. Those are a lot of the hometown heroes that are playing this weekend I'm most stoked about. Um, as far as the bigger acts, um, I had the opportunity to open for Travis Scott and that was like, uh, I mean that was honestly a dream come true. Like uh, my new project is uh, heavily influenced by his last project. So uh, I'd say that was probably my biggest, biggest show I was looking forward to. You know, honestly, from an outside perspective, I would have to say Kanye for the simple fact you know, he's never been my number one rapper but as an overall artist like a MJ or someone like that he has the full package I'd say he's the most influential in the genre right now when it comes to uh, Canada though right now like I'm honestly I'm at a tie right now for Rich Kid and Son Real I mean like production wise I, I, I almost feel like I'd love to say Rich Kid is my favorite producer um, and Sunreal has just been killing it um, since the release of his latest project. So I'd say those are the two in Canada right now. And myself, and myself. <laughs> I think it's a both, you know what I mean? I think there's a thin line between the two and he's walked it many times. Um, I would say, you know, Yeezus, 808s and Heartbreaks, those type of things push the genre, especially for a producer like me, hearing those sounds, that production. The ASR, all those type of things that he uses are, you know, the things I hope one day to use and the production skills I hope, that knowledge I have it one day. So I'd say, you know, as a, as a producer, overall artist, the fashion tip, like, everything's on point. So I would definitely say, I would definitely say he's more of a innovator. He's, he's evolving than devolving, you know what I mean? He's always pushing to the next level. I come from the genre where we never really paid for music. We've always had free music. We've always downloaded it with mixtapes and everything. Um, so to me, I don't really see it as a downside. I feel like if you can give the product and people can come see you like they are tonight um, and hear the type of music that you're playing and you're making, they're willing to come and pay when they come to the shows, buy the merch, all those type of things. They might ne not necessarily purchase the album, but all the other aspects. And that's why you see you know, labels wanting to do the 360 deals because you have all those other areas that you're killing right now. So. Well, I would say my, uh, my father, he was uh, from an 80s hip-hop group called LCP, Leather Cat Posse. Um, uh, Bonshaw's my uncle um, here on the Canadian hip-hop scene. Um, so I would say those were some of my first musical memories. Like my father introduced me to Snoop and a bunch of other artists. Um, and you know, I actually had a chance to go on stage for the first time when I was like seven or so. It was either the uh, ANZMA or ECMAs, I forget the two. Um, with Bonshaw, I forget the record, but that was one of my one of the memories I always remember doing that as a kid. So I would say my father and my uncle um, Jerome, aka Bonshaw, uh, gave me the opportunity to share those moments with them. So, um, honestly, right now I have a brand new project. It's kick-ass. Like I'm so stoked about it. It's called Canon. I'm hoping to drop it this summer. Um, we got videos done. We got. We got everything covered pretty much in a, in a folder right now. We're waiting for the perfect opportunity. The production's on point. Uh, the lyricism, the lyrics are up there. Um, we got KO on the record. We got Critical. Um, man, I honestly, I feel like I'm going to release this and I'm just going to kick people in their face. Like, they're going to hear this and the 808s are going to just blow their mind and stuff. So, I mean, I'm, we're on point this summer. So, Canon is what we're really looking forward to. Uh, Social media. I'm on Instagram at Cam Smith Music, Twitter at Cam Smith Music, Cam Smith on Facebook. You can join at me on Facebook if you want to talk to me personally. Add the group. Anything that you really want to do, um, I'm online. I'm there. I'm also on Tinder. Nah, I'm totally, totally messing with you. <laughs>